I don't call myself a video game nerd, but I am an active video game player. I have played some of the best and well known video games and while playing them, a thought used to come in my mind that what if these games will be adapted in live action and some of them are even getting the live action adaptations. So here's my list of the video games that I want to see and am excited for seeing in live action. God of War Norse. I'll be honest, I haven't fully played a single God of War video game in my life. But I am thinking of starting with the newest one, God of War Ragnarok. Even though I haven't played any God of War games and don't know much about them, the character of Kratos has always interested and fascinated me, particularly the Norse Kratos, who's old now and also has a son. I'm really excited to see how Amazon's live action God of War is gonna turn out and who's gonna play Kratos. and the series better have some of the coolest action sequences as I have seen Kratos fight and he fights like a badass. So whoever they are gonna cast as Kratos would have to be equally talented in acting and performing in fight sequences. Now, the rest of the list is about the video games that I have played and I am really waiting for them to be adapted in live action. Outlast. I loved every minute of this video game. There are no ghosts or supernatural elements in this video game, only insane and ugly mental asylum patients. If you don't know about this game, Outlast is completely set in an old mental asylum where a journalist breaks in to do some research on the experiments happening on the patients in there. Miles, the journalist, gets stuck in the dark, mysterious and dangerous Mount Massive Asylum and he has to escape anyhow. On his way out, he he sees many disgusting things and comes across various ugly, scary and insane asylum patients. And the one that scared me the most was Chris Walker. He was just a pain in the ass. The escape from asylum is a couple of hour long nightmarish journey where Miles Handicam is really important and it's all he's got. I was wondering if there could be at least a movie on this video game. I would love to see it. A Way Out I loved the story of this one. A Way Out is actually a two player game where you are gonna need a partner to play it. It's about two criminals, Vincent and Leo, who meet in a prison and then work together to get revenge when they find out that the man that fucked both of them up is the same. Then there's a prison escape, gunfights, hand to hand combat fights and vehicle chase. I enjoyed the story and action of this video game and this video game at least deserves one movie and it would be even better if the character of Vincent will be played by Hugh Jackman. They look so much alike. Red Dead Redemption 2nd. I'm playing this one right now and I'm really enjoying it. The game is set during the time of cowboys or the outlaws of the wild west when the things used to be rough and you'd literally have to loot or kill to make the ends meet. The game follows Arthur, Dutch and their gang of outlaws who are planning one last big train robbery then to retire. The missions, the horse chases, the gunfights and the fist fights. Red Dead Redemption 2nd is a really cool game. The video game has 6 long chapters and I am currently at chapter 3. Red Dead Redemption 2 deserves a live action TV series and I think I'll be one of the first ones to watch it. Ghost of Tsushima This video game is like a poetry in motion. I totally loved those beautiful locations of Ghost of Tsushima. The video game just took me to another world. Ghost of Tsushima Tsushima is set in the ancient Japan when there used to be badass samurai and warlords. Beautiful graphics, the music, the story, those battles against the Mongols where you actually have to choose the fighting stance that's gonna work against a particular weapon. Like the water stance is the most effective against the swords and shields. The wind stance is best for fighting against the spears. The action sequences of Ghost of Tsushima are just amazing. I actually felt like a samurai at one point. I'm really excited to see how Chad Stahelski is gonna execute Ghost of Tsushima into live action. And the video game cannot be covered in just one movie. So this was my list of the video games I am waiting to get adapted into live action. Let me know in the comments the video games you want to see get a movie or series. And here's a movie recommendation. EO, a Polish movie. This movie movie is a completely different experience and the ending of it just shocked me. EO was nominated for the 95th Academy Awards in the Best International Feature Film category. Do check it out. 
If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram. Take care and see you in another video.